Hello everyone, my name is Dorothy Wong and this is my project presentation for the class Image Processing and Computer Vision taught by Dr. Da Peng Wu. My project is MATLAB's Scrabble Score Calculator. So first of all, uh, this is an overview of my presentation today. I'll first go into introduction about my project. Then I'll go through the different steps, that my the process flow that my project goes through to process a Scrabble board. So first there's the board processing steps, there's the letter recognition step, and there's a score calculation step. Finally, I will give a demonstration and con uh, give a several conclusions about my project. So the introduction is uh, Scrabble is a very popular game. I've been playing it since I was in elementary school. And what it is, is it's a square grid of 15 by 15 grid spaces where you put letter tiles on it to form words. Each letter has a particular point value and um, the spaces also, particular spaces have special letter or word multipliers. So your score is calculated from your, the sum of your letter values and multiplied by any letter or score multipliers that your word is placed on top of on the board. Um, the score is usually calculated after every turn and it's, it's, it gets tedious because usually one player of the game is designated as the scorekeeper and he or she must tabulate all the scores after each turn of the game. This, uh, doing the act of tabulating all the scores gets tedious after a while, um, and it takes away from the fun and enjoyment of the game and disrupts the flow of the game. So therefore, I came up with an idea to have an automatic score calculator using MATLAB. So what this program does is you, you take you take an image of your board after every turn, and then you feed it into this program one, one image at a time. This program would then uh, detect the letters on the board and calculate your score. So down here you can see the program flowchart. So you first you first read the image one uh, one image at a time. You then process the board, which means that you you prepare the board in for letter recognition. So once it's done, you then you can then uh, perform letter recognition, and then you can calculate the score. So let's take a closer look on how this program actually performs this flow. So the first step is board processing and. So you can see in a lot of the pictures that we that are taken of the board, it's very difficult to get. The best optimal case would be the camera right on top of the board. And that's pretty difficult to do if you're a player and you're playing the game. So most of the time, when you take a picture of the board, it's going to be distorted uh, because you're taking an angle. Tiles that are farther away are smaller than tiles that are closer to the front. So this this step of the process aims to stretch out the board so that all the tiles look the same size and then remove distortion effects. To do this, there's three different steps. The first step is to detect the board grid and to do this, I reduce the image to three different channels, hue, saturation, and value. Then I use the saturation and value images to form the, the, the board uh, mask for the grid lines. So you can see here the one on the um, the left here is the saturation mask, the one in the middle is the value mask, and the one on the right is the board grid lines that are eventually detected. Once those are detected, um, then, then the corners are found, and this is done by finding the midpoint of each and every line and trying to find which line is the most north, south, east, or west. And so once those are found, then the endpoints of those lines are denoted as the board corners. So this board corner information is fed into the next part of the program, which is the transformation part. It's the most interesting part. What this does is it maps those four corners you see here into a, into a rectangular or uh, almost square rectangle. So in this middle picture, this is a, a transformation that's already been applied. You can see the board is just, it looks as if you're looking straight down on the board. Um, this is done using a projective transformation function in MATLAB. So what you do is you input a set of four points and you input the set of another set of four points that you want the first four points to be stretched onto. So after this is done, we, did we do the detecting the board corners again, which is you do perform the same mask, and you find the lines. And then finally, once those are found, then you uh, crop the board. So you only record the part of the board that is act the actual playing area. So this is the first play of the board, which is playing putting down the words scratch by the first player. So after that's done, we go into the second step of the process flow, which is letter recognition. 
and in this step, all the letters, all the any new letters that are placed on the board by any player, are detected by the computer. To perform this step, first we uh, reduce the image to its black and white components, so we only keep the the black letters of the word. So you only keep the the the, the words, the letters in scratch. We I then invert the letter, the, the image, so that the letters show up white, and then perform a series of Im morphological operations to bring out the letters. So I'll first perform a, a close a image and open image to connect any uh, components and to re remove any scray pixels that were left from the previous step. I then skeletonize the image and then I dilate the letters to have them show up really well against the black. Next I detect any connected components and this would be all the different letters. So you can see these are the uh, different connected components that were found by the program, the S, C, R, A, T, and C, C and H. And these are, these are cropped out in prepar preparation for the next step of letter recognition, which is to actually recognize the letters. And this is based off a uh, OCR method that I did in pattern recognition class, which was a survey of OCR feature extraction methods. And the one that I used was the best performing method of that project, which is the simple correlation. And in this case, the pictures of your uh, training data are compared to pictures of your test data. So um, the uh, all these different all these each of these seven letters were compared against a set of training data, which were also images of letters. And the one that had the most correlation to these letters was chosen as the ASCII text char uh, characterization of the letter. And then you repeat the process for all seven letters, so you get S C R A T C H in text format now. So now that we have the word, now we can calculate the score. So as I said before, each letter has a certain point value, and there are certain grid squares on the board that correspond to word or letter multipliers. First, um, since I know what the mu letters are, I calculate the individual letter values. Um, um, so that would be, in case there was a letter multiplier, I multiply the letter multiplier with the individual letter that it was it was applicable to. And then after that, I sum all the letter values together to have the word score, and then multiply the word score with any bonus word multipliers that um, that that the word itself set on on the board. And here, here's a picture of the letter and how the letter and word multipliers look like on the board. So this is a demonstration of my project. I have a live demonstration of my MATLAB project in another presentation. But this is this is a small, simple program for a two-player Scrabble game that I made to test my program. And you can see here, these are different terms. So first we have scratch that we have seen before, and then the second player puts in class. The third pla the, the, sec the first player again puts in the letters TA, and this actually is more complicated because three words are formed. TA going down, uh, TA going to the going across and AS going across. Next we have the player player two puts in aspirin. Player one puts in a state while simultaneously uh, uh, forming the word aspirins. And then player two puts in tiki right here. And then player one puts in debut. And uh, you can't see very well in this presentation, but the last player, player two, puts in not the last player. Player two puts in B, which is you can see better over here. And then finally, player one puts in devour. So actually, it did ran pretty good. It was able to detect all the letters. And in the end, I found that player one had a score of 116 points, while player two had a score of 45 points. However, I found several challenges that were uh, that in, during running in my program. And the first was with was being able to consistently develop, detect the board correctly. So I found that the brightness and contrast of the picture significantly affected the quality of the, the results of the algorithm each time it was run. So to um, have better performance, the camera that is taking the pictures must, ha must have the same settings for each picture. So the brightness and contrast shouldn't change from picture to picture. That would give a consistent, a successful result. So an idea for future work for this program is to uh, have more independence from the algorithm to the picture conditions. So that if I, uh, if the, uh, so if you have a smartphone, it's difficult to lock down these uh, settings such as uh, aperture and shutter speed. Is, is, uh, so the idea for future is future work is to not 
have the performance of the algorithm depend that much on the picture quality. The second challenge was to detect the colliders correctly, and this was because the training data that I used was from the previous class and didn't wasn't exactly formed from the Scrabble font. It's very similar to the Scrabble font, which caused uh, which was made the OCR technique have a very high accuracy. But you, in the best case, you want a hundred percent accuracy. So the, the future task with the, for that would be generate a training data from the Scrabble font. However, pattern recognition isn't the focus for this project, so I focus more on being able to detect and read the board. But in the conclusion, overall, the program worked really well. I was able to um, get the final point values for each player, and uh, it was able to give me I uh, the list of all the letters and words that were formed by each player. Oh no, it was a very it was successful and it was a very good program. So stay tuned for part two of the presentation where I perform show a MATLAB demo of my uh, program. Uh, thank you for watching.